Hello, this is Susan Itel with Simple Stamping. I have a quick video for you to help you get a little bit more organized for your new designer series paper that will be coming out June 1st. Now, I've blogged about my system of how I like to carry and hold all of my designer series paper, but I'll run through it real quick, but I will have links on my blog. These are just some plastic file folders that I purchased at Amazon. I've had them for absolute years. Um, a company called Cropper Hopper used to make them, and I do not think they're in business, but there is another source out there from Amazon that you can purchase them. And I will say at first glance, you're gonna think, geez, they're kind of expensive. But hang tight because you can use them over and over and over. So here you go. You can see that I have this collection of paper. It's the party animal. And then you can also see how I have a plastic um, divider sheet that does, it's just a sheet. It's a 12 by 12 sheet that's plastic. And then I always put on there scraps. So this keeps me organized because I put all my full sheets in front and then anything that is cut goes behind. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, this is what I do when a new catalog comes out. I take my little pointy tool, pick that off, and you'll see that they come right off of this plastic, and we do not need them anymore. And then what I like to do is I take all of my 12 by 12 sheets, and I go ahead and I cut them into quarters. After I cut them into quarters, I do put them in a I believe it's just called a CD box. They're super inexpensive, especially when it's back to school time. Uh, they're like 99 cents at um, Walmart. And so what I do is I just go ahead and stack all of my retired paper in there. Then it's easy for me to use if I wanna grab it, or it's also easy for me to, let's say if I have a customer that bought a product share and I wanna put a little goodie in there, I can pull them a couple you know, pieces of paper and put in their order and make someone smile. But before we get to all of that, I want to share with you, this is my friend. This is a P-Touch Brothers P-Touch Labeler. Now, I often get questions from people saying, oh, I don't really like using that because I waste so much tape. Now, hopefully you can see this. Let me move that so you can see it easier. Um, you can see there's a lot of waste here. And I agree with you, that would drive me nuts. But then you can also see this. Here you can tell I'm getting ready for the new catalog, I'm so excited. And you can see how I do not have much waste. So I wanted to give you a quick tutorial to show you exactly how to set your P-Touch up so you do not have any waste. So you go ahead and turn the little guy on and let's use a designer series paper. There's one called Birthday Memories. So you would just type in birthday, help if I could spell, it's Birthday Memories, and then you press print. And then it says one copy, hit print. Now, most of the time we are thinking that we want to press OK to feed. If you do that, then this is exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get those big spaces. So hang tight. Don't do that. Press Escape. So you just press that, and it brought us right back to birthday memories. Now, here's a great time to add a space and then put scraps. And then hit Print. And now we're gonna say no to the okay to feed. We're gonna hit escape. Now we're already finished with that one. So you're just gonna go ahead and backspace it out. And let's find another pack of paper, Delightful Daisy. So I'll just do one more for you because after one more, you're gonna get it done. And if you need help, feel free to email me. So Delightful Daisy. There's really no reason to put designer series paper because you know it's your paper. Hit print, one copy, and it's printing. Now, hit escape, that's the key. Now I'm gonna add scraps because I always have one that says the paper name and then one that says scraps. Now we want it to feed. So once it says okay to feed, 
just go ahead okay and then you just press on that and that cuts it and look there do you see how there is just minimal space in between now this is why I love the P touch labeler I I just find it to be such a breeze in lining things labeling things excuse me now I also wanted to show you really quickly because this is another thing I think people get confused on um, if you wanted to make multiple copies of something what would I make multiple copies of let's say if it's retired if it's a product that I am keeping because I love it and I want to know that it's retired so if I'm ever blogging about it I know it's a retired product so we're gonna hit retired and I'm gonna just say let's go ahead and make four of them so I'm gonna hit instead of one there I'm gonna hit four and now I'm gonna hit print and we're just gonna go ahead and hit OK and now you will be able to see that I was able to print four retired with minimal spaces in between and I could just use my scissors so I hope that that helped you and I hope it gets you inspired to um, if you do not have those great file folders I would go ahead and grab them now and I would also if you do not have a p-touch labeler that is something that you're really gonna want to have it is also an awesome gift to give to that person who has absolutely everything. They will label everything in their house. Uh, I will say I do purchase my refills at Amazon because it's so much cheaper, so, so much cheaper. And you can see that this is the clear tape with the black letters. I use that as well as I use the white with the black letters. So if you are purchasing tape, I would get the half inch and I would get the clear as well as the white. So hopefully that helped you. I hope you have a wonderful day and please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you need any help. Bye.